Sometimes, whether it be natural or human forced, an animal is born that strikes excitement and wonder into the human species. Could it be an alien? Another species altogether? All these amazing questions populate human minds, and scientists are typically eager to answer them. Boy, his neck is weird. From real life unicorns to the most overlooked frog in the entire animal family, here are 15 animals that are born only once in a thousand years. <laughs> Real-life unicorn. Could this be the same sort of event that started the human unicorn fascination all those years ago? New amazing footage has turned up revealing a doe with a single emerging horn protruding from the top of its head. Male deer are known to get antlers, so this could be the start of this adolescence. Another one will likely pop out of his head at one point or another, but you can't deny how cool that looks for the time being, especially on infrared. Believe it or not, single horn deer are not such a rare sight in areas like Greenland. It isn't quite a unicorn, but the legend could have been inspired by this gorgeous species. It's also possible that this poor guy lost his other deer in a fight or suffers from a genetic flaw. Now let's get ready for today's missing topic. Are face huggers real? Let's hope not. This photo surfaced showing some random guy holding a bizarre creature oddly reminiscent of the alien film creatures, but this one had the addition of a long, sharp tail. Is this creature from the creative mind of another horror monster creator? Or a unique creature living on the fringes of the planet in scarce numbers and dark corners? If the latter is correct, let's hope they like those dark corners and continue to stay there. We don't need any sharp-tailed face huggers crawling through people's homes anytime soon. Fact or fiction? Drop a line down below and let us know what you think. Hey, hey, did you know that if you smash the like button, subscribe and click the notification bell, you're more likely to win the lottery? So what are you waiting for? Goat Monster Many people refer to this goat as a monster, and when it hit the internet, it was more of the same. What they didn't know was this goat was actually a prized Damascus goat. This peculiar looking creature with a long neck, protruding forehead, and seemingly unusual underbite is cherished in many countries. Despite having been dubbed the goat monster by observers everywhere, the animal is a prize-winning species native to Syria, Cyprus, and Lebanon, sought after for its superior quality of milk. They might not look the cutest, but they put out the best product. According to experts, its bizarre appearance is likely the result of generations of the most dramatic-looking individuals being mated. From a distance, those who have never seen a Damascus goat often report its mouth appears extremely large and a bit grotesque. It even has the capability of making little children scream. For those that love goats, this amazing Egyptian animal can be included in the world's already extensive list of animal personalities. Mm -hmm. Pink Grasshopper What kind of grasshopper is hopping around in pink grass? The insect typically gets its coloring to help it blend in with the surrounding, so why this one turned up pink is a bit strange. He's doing everything right when the human with a camera approaches, staying still, using its camouflage to blend in, save for the fact that it has none and sticks out like a sore thumb. How this guy hasn't been eaten yet is as big a mystery to why it's pink. These rare grasshoppers are the result of a genetic mutation called ertherism, which affects a recessive gene similar to albinism. Some experts aren't convinced and say that it was once a dominant trait largely eradicated through evolution because their pink hue practically highlights them for predators to pick. They went on to mention that the gene came from a time when pink was beneficial. In a time where there were fields filled with red and pink tones, or predators who couldn't see the color pink, or because another pink animal tasted bad. This camouflage mechanism is called Batesian mimicry and is well into effect today. See yourself eating any brightly colored frogs for lunch? See what we mean? <laughs> monkey human embryo. Science has done it. They've successfully grown monkey embryos containing human cells. While the science world exploded with applause and even more questions, ethics committees weren't too enthused on their success. According to the reports, the observation team injected the monkey embryos with human stem cells and watched and recorded as they developed. Of note, they observed human and monkey cells divide at first, but then grow together in a petri dish with at least three embryos surviving 19 days after initial fertilization. The overall learning was that every embryo containing human cells proliferate and differentiate to a different context. 
a developmental biologist from Salk Institute in California, led the project and reported its official findings. Researchers hope that some human-animal hybrids, being called chimeras, could provide better subjects in which to test experimental drugs and be used to grow human organs for transplants. You can see where the ethics issues start to come into play. A creature mixed with a human? Where do we draw the line at human and not? What makes the difference? Will it matter if it's present in these organ farming beings? Doesn't look good. <laughs> naked chickens. Are those chickens walking around naked for a reason? It turns out it's a specific type of chicken and it indeed has a purpose. Also called the naked chicken, the ugly purpose behind these human-made monstrosities were to breed a chicken that can be produced cheaper, convenient, and more efficient than the feather counterparts we all know about. Essentially, it was humans being lazy to increase profits. Those responsible for its existence would say this strange breed is not genetically modified, but the result of a 50-year effort using only natural breeding methods. Ethics groups chimed in to say that featherless variants suffer more than normal ones already do. For example, they're more susceptible to parasites, mosquito bites, and sun skin complications. On the other end of the argument, they say these breeds pose no more risk to humans than the feather type. They taste and produce the same quality of meat, plus they're faster to grow, the meat is lower in fat, and requires less food to eat while alive. It's considered more eco-friendly since there's no need for plucking. Don't think plucking is an environmental issue? Think again, with the massive amount of chickens being farmed and plucked every single day, all those feathers need to go somewhere and it typically ends up in some body of water. <laughs> Two-Headed Turtle No matter what you may have heard, two heads is not always better than one, especially if those two heads are attached to the same body. When this occurs in nature, it's referred to as a bicephalic. In most species, the occurrence is rare. In others, it occurs much more frequently, like reptiles, for instance. While you might have thought the opposite, two-headed turtles command a hefty price if found in the wild and healthy. If you heard right, you can actually buy two-headed turtles right now if you wanted to. Though it may seem cruel, the creatures wouldn't survive long in the wild, so human hands are actually their only saving grace. Cape Cod recently turned up a new specimen, and it's pretty adorable. The duo together barely was larger than a golf ball upon birth. While most animals born like this don't live very long, this joined pair has shown evidence it could do otherwise. In the two weeks since its discovery, the turtles have developed together healthily and are eating, swimming, and growing each day together. The Purple Frog the purple frog is endemic to the western ghats of India and have been evolving independently from the rest of their species for around 100 million years. Hence the wildly different look from more traditional frogs or toads. Aside from its body and flippers, they look nothing alike. Recent molecular studies have revealed evidence that they're most closely related to a family of tiny frogs only located on the Seychelles. It's a burrowing species, only emerging a few days every year typically during a monsoon season, to breed. Then they retreat back into the ground where they'll reside until next breeding time comes. It was long overlooked by science because it was a burrowing species. The frog is listed as endangered and is still being constantly threatened by deforestation from cultivation in addition to consumption and harvesting by local communities. Other than its very specific breeding sites, very little is known about this species. Ligers Tie ligers and lie ligers. Ligers, tie ligers, and lie ligers are three generations of hybrid big cats resulting from crossbreeding at multiple levels at different times throughout history. The creatures are also called the first, second, and third generations of the hybrid big cats. Their origin story isn't a good one, I'm afraid. Since lions and tigers don't live in the same area, this type of thing could never have occurred in nature. It's entirely human conceived. At the core of these three species involves the hybridization of a lion and a tigress for entertainment purposes in certain parts of the world. This breeding was meant for shock value alone, meant for a quick burst of profit and not for the benefit of the animal whatsoever. They often died at young age. Recent studies have shown that ligers are not sterile as first thought and have the ability to produce more offspring naturally. Ligers are also the biggest of all the cat species known to man, meaning not only are they bigger than present-day lions and tigers, but also that of the ancient saber-toothed tiger and the American cave lion. Now that's impressive. <laughs> Rare Geep It's a goat, it's a sheep, it's a geep. 
Goats have 60 chromosomes, while sheep have 54. This genetic difference poses considerable difficulty in crossbreeding and is likely why these hybrids are a rare sighting. A geep doesn't typically survive throughout embryonic development, but those who are born healthy strike a balance between both species' 57 chromosomes. The most recent geep to emerge was named Butterfly, and she was as cute as ever. Many have doubted whether Butterfly is truly a geep or an ordinary lamb with parents from different sheep species. A genetic analysis would solve this issue of Butterfly's lineage, but there is the petting zoo that refuses and has yet to release word if it will ever plan to. They say it's for the safety of Butterfly but many claim that it's for safety of their image. Head to Arizona if you want to find this petting zoo and see the rare animal for yourself. One goat-sheep hybrid emerges from a country once every hundred years or so, so this rare occurrence really is for the history books. Rama the Kama The Dubai Camel Center made international headlines back in 1998 when it was first to produce the first Kama a hybrid creature mixed between a male camel and a female llama that were naturally separated 30 million years ago. Dubbed Rama, the Kama is over 10 years old and shares the limelight with three other of the species, Camilla, Jamila, and Rocky. They too have been living far longer than expected, which demonstrates the genes may be accepting of one another. The Kamas were conceived through artificial insemination, where llamas were inseminated with camel semen and ovulation induced with hormones. Two other brothers only made it to three weeks, but the remainder lived on. They were mixed for a specific purpose. Since camels are renowned for being one of nature's least tempered creatures, the Kama was born with hopes they would have more wool like a llama and a better temperament like a camel. Those that survived turned out to be just so. It took two years to produce a living specimen. <laughs> Hexapus well, we can't really call it an octopus if it only has six legs, now can we? Scientists are doing their best to relate the species to the eight-legged variant, but finding naming it difficult. The hexapus is indeed an octopus, but a rare birth defect left this guy lacking too. When he was first discovered, he was captured and brought into animal medical facilities where they first learned of his six legs when he splayed himself out on the fish tank glass. Animal doctors were baffled and started calling all the nearby aquatic centers and research institutes that could provide some insight into the bizarre creature they had found. After deep analysis, it was confirmed in octo but with a birth defect. This strange hexapus was a once-in-a-lifetime specimen. The photo started snapping shortly after, as you might imagine. They dubbed him Henry the Hexapus. Many other octopus anomalies have been recorded in the past. Tourists visiting Portugal claim to have captured images of a six-limbed octopus in the waters of Portino Arabida, although no evidence was revealed to confirm the sighting. Cyclops Shark It's been confirmed the mythical creature of the Cyclops is real. No one said it had to look like the tales of mythology, but by definition alone, Cyclopses are real. This recently discovered one-eyed shark is proof of that. As you might imagine, it created quite the worldwide buzz, and many hit the message boards to cry hoax. After the conversation picked up steam, some experts chimed in on the conversation and confirmed the existence of such shark species, and has thus been dubbed the albino Cyclops Shark. Shark experts have examined the creature up close and personal and discovered that its eye is made of singular functional optical tissue. In other words, it works how an eye is supposed to without hindrance like a deformity could. It's unlikely, however, that the misshapen creature would have survived for very long in the wild, not because it's any less capable, but because its body will form different than that of the typical species. While this is indeed authentic footage of a one-eyed shark, the rarity in which they are discovered, let alone recorded for all to see, can essentially make it a mythical creature by classification. Researchers say that less than 50 examples of an abnormality like this have ever been discovered in all recorded science. While rare, there is a natural phenomenon called cyclopia, which is an authentic developmental anomaly in which only one eye develops. Even humans can be afflicted, as in a 1982 case in Israel. In that case, a baby girl was born seven weeks early with no nose and one eye in the center of her face. The tragic infant lived only 30 minutes, and further brain defects were found to be the cause. Hmm. <laughs> Headless Chicken Monster Other creatures have been dubbed the chicken of the sea, 
but because of their food yield, not appearance. This scary sea beast comes at us as the first that actually looks like a chicken, save for its missing head, of course. With a body like a plump-breasted and decapitated chicken, the bizarre creature is neither a chicken nor a monster. It's a swimming sea cucumber. Experts recently captured never-before-seen footage of this bizarre swimmer in the Southern Ocean near eastern Antarctica. It's never been observed in the ecosystem before, further solidifying the idea the oceans are changing. While its name certainly stuck, it took some time for researchers to name it. Names like a frilly pillowcase, bloody flying squirrel, and a raw steak with fins were early names. There's no denying the resemblance to all those things. The peculiar creature drifts around the ocean but typically never very far from its original home. Finding one so far away from their home in the Gulf of Mexico was unheard of. One thing's for sure, more and more strange creatures are emerging and drifting far from their native habitats and allowing humans to finally catch a glimpse in all their glory. Glow-in-the-dark bunnies. Why the heck are there living glow-in-the-dark bunnies? If you're asking yourself this question, you aren't alone. As part of a massive effort to improve treatments for life-threatening illnesses, a team of scientists have bred these rabbits that can glow in the dark. While it might not seem important, it is. Their work produced two rabbits out of an entire litter of eight that went from being a typical, adorable, fluffy white bunny to glowing green in the dark like some extraterrestrial or radiated beast. The rabbits were born in captivity at the University of Istanbul as part of the collaboration between scientists from universities in Turkey and Hawaii. They're glowing to exemplify that a genetic manipulation technique works efficiently when applied properly, though the specific color is more cosmetic than scientific. In other words, they made them glow in the dark simply for the purpose of moving forward with the research. It was a test that their ideas indeed work in a passive yet interesting way. The bunnies are said to be no worse for the wear. Since they'll remain in captivity for further study, they'll never have to worry about predators being able to see them thanks to their luminescence. To quote the scientists, the glowing green is not important at all. It's just a testament to show the experiment can be done successfully. Crooked Giraffe Wow, what a pain in the neck, wouldn't you say? Looking at the giraffe from a clear frontal angle is where you really get a sense of the harshness of its kink. The way this animal moves about the wild, on the other hand, is proof that it can't be as bad as it looks. Or that this giraffe is one tough beast. He seems to be enjoying life just as any other giraffe would. Unhindered by the deformity, researchers were unaware whether the neck deformity was because of a previous battle with another giraffe or a birth defect. Giraffe fights utilize their necks like clubs and swing them at one another in long and powerful strikes. He could have done this to himself or another stronger specimen did this to him. Unfortunately, experts assume he won't ever be able to mate because males compete first by crashing their necks into one another to show the females who's the tougher and stronger and better mate of the two. Though the giraffe has never been witnessed in a fight, it's likely that kink will serve as a hindrance and not a boon. Every creature around the globe is bound to birth a unique, once-in-a-lifetime specimen. Whether that it be by accident or on purpose is another question entirely. That presents another set of questions. What's the purpose for this hybrid breeding? Is it natural or human-induced? All in all, so long as there are amazing, exciting new creatures to learn about, there's nothing to fear. Say for humans creating some super smart animal that deems humanity as useless. We all know the results from that sort of situation. If you enjoyed the video, smash that like button and don't forget to subscribe to get all our lit content delivered right to your inbox. Mm -hmm.